What's good, Knicks fans? Phil Facts here, the sports snob. Snobby sports and full of fact. Gotta give you love on this Sunday morning. Got my coffee and my blunt. Pardon me for slurping. But this one's for you. Shout out to Knicks Nation. Shout out to the number one Knicks fans. You know what I mean? All my Knicks, all my Knicks websites that allow me to post when I'm putting up my Nick videos. Um, I just want to tell you, thank you for the support for the people that come through and view. So, you know, subscribe, yo. Show some love. Come through. I got other videos about other things. Well, sports wise, not just the Knicks. Talk about boxing. I love boxing. Talk about the Giants. I'm a Giants fan. And sometimes I might talk about the UFC. I just did a video about the UFC. So come through, you no. Know? But anyway, let's get back to the Knicks. And of course, wrong lighter. Let's talk about the Knicks and how I've been sitting back watching all of these videos of all of these guys coming up now these draft picks you know these prospects because that's what i want to talk about these draft draft prospects i think the knicks should stand pat i don't think the knicks should try to make any crazy moves and make a splash i think we already made a splash by changing around you know the front office let that sink in for a second i'm not saying that we shouldn't make any trades and I'm not saying that we shouldn't sign any free agents, but I'm just saying maybe we don't got to go for the gusto and go crazy and end up losing assets. When the reality is, you know, we are probably in the best position the Knicks have ever been in. Ever. Ever since we got Patrick Ewing. Since before that, probably. Since... We got Patrick Ewing, and I mean that as far as a franchise moving forward about to, you know, try to forge a destiny. Right now, we have cap space. We got draft picks, several draft picks this year. We have several draft picks last year. We have young prospects that show that they could play in the NBA level on a high level. Right now on our team, and I'm talking about Dennis Smith Jr., even Julius Randle. Even Clinton Portis. Even Alfred Payton. Man, I'm thinking and I'm looking and I'm saying to myself, damn, this is what we always do. We get ants in our pants. We get antsy and we got to do something. You know what I mean? Like a little kid that's that got, you know, lead poison and shit, bouncing around and shit. Like you can't stay still. We can't stay still. And maybe that's why the things that happen to this team keep happening. Maybe for one season, for the off season, we don't need to be too active at all. Maybe we need to just see where we end up, you know, in the short run after all the things we've been through and all the moves we've already made that put us in the position we're in. Let's see what we get out of. Let's see. Let's enjoy the fruits of our labor. labor. Here go the Puerto Rican in me, labor. <laughs> let's enjoy the fruits of our labor instead of laboring you know what i mean harvesting and then giving it away or sharing it let's just enjoy this shit let's just sit back home with our phone fam close the motherfucking door or anybody else outside our shit right and let's just see what we got yo bro let's stop rushing knocks out the door yo if y'all could argue for frank yo all the people that argue for frank right now you should smack the shit out yourself. You should smack the shit out yourself if you be on some bullshit with Kevin Knox. Straight up. And if you suck in Mitch Robinson. Because all these niggas, man, all of them, they not getting the time that they deserve. And they not all playing up to the level that they could possibly. I don't give a fuck. It's abundantly clear what all our young players they're all in the same fucking boat. They're not being able to play. They're not allowed to play consistently. They're not getting consistent minutes. They got coaches bouncing in and out of their fucking life. And they got the fans booing and putting pressure. 
Then you got the owner going through mad drama with all of that. I mean, what you, what you, what you want from them? Can we chill for a minute? Dennis Smith come here. Have, yo, y'all, I'm still mad about that, how y'all did him. Y'all, y'all, wow. Y'all, wow. It's not even funny on, on, on some for real shit. That's some real bully shit what y'all did to him, man. And y'all fucked him up, man. And the reality is, like I've been saying and crying, we need to see if Dennis Smith Jr., Frank, and RJ could play together. Let's see what we could do with them three up top, man. And then we get a, a, a we get a stretch four, and we let Mitch fucking play. And let's not even go there. Like you talking about shooters, like I said, we got Dotson, we got Iggy, we got people on our team, man. Damn. And now with the draft, yo, it's this draft is not that shallow. This draft is actually deep when it gets to the back end of it, because there's a lot of people that exhibited a lot of skills and a lot of success in one area. There's just not a lot of complete players. But there's a few that can come and be plug in players, man. And at the back end, you are looking at all these fancy players. And yo, even up top, the, the number one prospects, the, the the few the lottery players that are, they all there's a few of them that are really plug in players. Like they could get in the NBA if they're in the right situation, they could contribute right away. There's a few of them. But there's also a few in the back end. There's a lot more in the back end on the low. And I think there's going to be a lot of players that turn out to be good players come, you know, in the, and going forward when we find out, you know, maybe five years from now. There'll be a lot of players from this draft that will still be in the league, I think. I think this is one of those drafts that are going to end up being surprisingly deep. That being said, let's not trade for shit. Fuck Carmelo. Mel I mean, excuse me. Not Carmelo. LaMelo. Let's not fuck. Yo, whoever's there that's talented. Cool, but I told y'all about the trades that I would have liked to make so that we could have two lottery picks. I put that in the video. Please check my channel. You know what I mean? If you haven't seen the video, check my channel about the three trades that I proposed before somebody takes Drew Holiday already or the draft the makes a trade for Buddy Hill. Before that shit happens, we need to make one of those trades that I suggested and try to get an additional draft pick, man, and solve some of the problems that we feel that we have. We could address some things that we feel are wrong right now. But in, in the meantime, though, if we decide not to do that, that's cool with me, too. Because the reality is all we got to do is pick wisely because we have three first-round picks. Three. No, my fault. We got two first-round picks, and then we have – a third, uh, 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 a a a second round, a uh, early second round pick, which is still three, three, three picks, three high picks, three picks. Excuse me, not three high, three picks, man. This this lottery. Come on, man. We got this draft. Sadiq Bay. I've been talking about Sadiq Bay. I'm not gonna stop talking about Sadiq Bay because we're worrying about getting point guards and we got guards on our team. We really have that already. We're not letting them play. All you're going to do is draft another guard, and y'all going to be bitching the minute that that kid is not doing what the fuck y'all want him to do immediately instead of letting that kid grow too. So fuck what y'all saying, and y'all need to listen to me. Shut the fuck up. Slap the shit out yourself. Calm down and listen to what I'm saying. We need Sadiq Bay. You got the other kid. Um, You got Tyler Bay. I mean, man, yo, there's so many kids, man, that we can snatch that's ready to play right now. If you want to get Halliburton with the, the seven pick, you got Nate Smith. There's a lot of guys that can come in and they can shoot because we need shooting. We need more shooting. We need to allow the players that we have on our team an opportunity to contribute with their shooting. And then we need to be drafting players that can also come into the team and shoot. Defense is an effort thing. So if you could shoot and we know that you give effort on defense, I'm cool with that. I don't have a problem with drafting Obi Toppin. I hear everybody beefing about Obi Toppin and he don't play defense. Once again, defense is an effort thing. Maybe in college they weren't pushing him. They wasn't asking him to play defense. Maybe because he handled so much of the offensive uh, responsibility on his team, they didn't stress him about that. Who knows? Once again, there y'all go, being in other people's business, judging, and you don't know the dynamics of the situation. So chill with all of that. Obi Toppin is the type of player we need. He could be a, 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 a three and D player because he could hit them jump shots from all over the court. The, the boy could score. And then defense is an effort thing. All we got to do is push him, and you know Thibodeau is not having that. 
If he ends up on our team, he's going to have to play defense. Bottom line, whoever comes on our team, they got to play deep. There's no way around it. This is, is this is not going to happen now with this coach. So I'm not even worried about that. So that's another thing. Y'all worry about shit y'all don't need to worry about. This shit that's not, is not your concern. It's shit that's elementary to others, man, that you don't have to question. And it's disrespectful when you do. And it's annoying. And it makes people curse at you and roll their eyes and suck their teeth and do shit that I do that people get mad about. But you being a fucking asshole when you ask me the dumb shit you just asked me. But I'm not supposed to respond to that. That's what y'all doing. Y'all being idiots right now about a lot of shit. And it's been going on for a long time. Y'all need to stop. We need to draft certain type of players and we need to stand pat and plug these players in. We got three guys that we could pick up and plug in. Why give that away? Yo, stop being so hard on Julius Randle. Let's be honest. The whole team sucked ass because we don't have a real leader on that team. Maybe we could cultivate one on our own. Or, like I said, maybe we can get a free agent or make a trade. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I don't have a problem with that. But trading these draft picks, we got more picks next year, next year's draft. There's a lot of good players that I'm already looking at that I've seen that are pretty good that we need to be keeping an eye on. That's why I'm not even stuck on getting a point guard because we have a little bit of everything and we need a little bit of everything. So let's see what we have. Let's have some fucking patience. Let's stand pat. Let's be easy. I easy. Yo, y'all tell me what you think, man. Can y'all, can, can my, can my Nick fans that have some sense, please get back to me, man. My, no, don't come back with no emotional answers and attacking me. Listen to what I, my point. Think about my point. I know I, may, I I was crystal clear. You get where I'm coming from. Really think about it before you respond. I appreciate it. And with that, I'm out of here because I got it like that. Peace. Phil Facts. Sports Snob. Snobby Sports.